Welcome back to Pathologic 2. Last episode, we made some serious progress with the Panacea. Gave the sample of bull bloods to Dankovsky, and they examined it. And, well, now, early in the morning, time to go to the theater, try to visit the dead item shop. And also, oh, I need to go to Rubens if I want to keep them alive, which I do. I'm going to make sure they stay alive. Also, I think I heard a screaming baby outside when I ended the last episode. So I'm going to go explore that. Yeah, I hear a screaming baby. And this district is... infected? Yes, it is. Man, I can hear that baby all the way from here. Loud baby. Also, I want to get, like, bloody bandages and stuff for the dead item shop, because right now I don't have much stuff for the dead item shop. And infected districts are always a great place to get some of that. Tends to be a lot of bloody bandages and trash cans and broken ampules. Yep, this is the one. And this time, if I need it, I do have a lockpick. Uh, but yeah, immunity's good. Let's drink some... Mm, I'm gonna save my water because I only have one bottle. Let's go. Let's get this baby. What if I find Anna Angel looking over it again? I'm gonna assume it's on an upper floor like before. Oh, they're touching me behind me. Go, go, go. Oh god, come on. What? Wait, what? Where are they? It sounds like they're over... On that side? How do I get there? Fuck. Am I missing something here? They must be below me, I guess. Yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, immunity boosters don't have any. Let's take a Metro Plus. Jesus Christ, there's so many people here. What the hell, Anna? Holy shit. Hold on. Something looks wrong with Anna. Their face looks like a zombie. Throw yourself uh, Break yourself in the basement or get sandboxed. Why are you looking at me like that? On second thought, it looks like they've just put stuff all over their face, but still they look creepy. What are you doing? You've heard that bit, surely. She's saying the child's no orphan, that it's hers. Oh, please, it's ridiculous. What does that matter if it's hers or not? We're still taking it out of here. So you finally acquired a taste for newborns. Why are you mad at me? I'm no shop knock. I'm a poor performer trying to help, and yet you snarl at me the way a bear would a hunter. What if I have my own history with children, hmm? A debt I must pay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You're not taking them to the town hall, are you? I'm taking them somewhere safe. You think this is better? You're not my confessor. You have blood on your hands, Ripper. You shouldn't be around, kids. Wait, where are you taking them? To good people. They make drugs. Wait, I'm sorry. They... They make drugs out of them in the sandbox, I think. No one knows what happens to them next, though. I'm, I'm sorry, you're giving the children to good people. They make drugs out of them in the sandbox. What? You're making a drug out of a baby? Good people, you say? Good, kind people. I've said all I can and won't tell you anything else. You know I'll figure it out anyway. Look at her face. She's a stepwoman. Do you know what they do to their babies? They turn them into soap. Everyone knows it. Sure, Anna. Fuck you. Exactly. 
She's a stepwoman, so I trust her more than you. So be quiet and let me talk to her. Yargachin, calm this witch down. She's up to no good. Yeah, apparently they're going to turn the baby into medicine. So, uh, yeah, they're up to no good. Anna's a fucking ghoul. Is it your baby? It is mine, Yargachin. My child. It's not true, Pasagin. Why are you lying? I can see it. They signed an order. We are to go door to door and search for the helpless, especially infants. Whoever brings a baby from a plague house to the town hall will be pardoned. Are you guilty of something? My husband killed a woman on the first day of the outbreak. She was no shop knock. Now he awaits execution in the town jail. Oh! You're that person's wife? I would redeem him, Yargachi. A life for a life. This is foolish. You'll be released, but you'll get sick and die. How does that help anyone? Hmm. No, let's go with this. You're a brave woman, Pasagin. The likes of you and me are few and far between. This work is dangerous. This disease is dangerous. People like this woman are dangerous. She should be killed, Yargachin. I agree with you. Well, okay. Let's just say this, though. She should not, but neither is it wise to let her take the baby. Come, oh boy, is it not? Go ahead, Pasagin. Take it to the town hall. Seriously, why is no one being buried? No carts cracking the cobbles, no shovels shifting dirt in the churchyard. Well, are you convinced now? Slow down. It's throw yourself in the river. Wait, Brick your I can keep... Why uh, is no one being buried? Uh, so no what have you decided? No cracking the cobbles, no shovels shifting dirt in the churchyard. Take it. I trust you more. Duh. It's throw yourself in the river, brick yourself in the basement, or get sandboxed. Why are you looking at me like that? No one ever believes me. I could turn myself inside out and still no one ever would. I genuinely wanted to do good. Then she came along and then you. Am I cursed, truly? Fate. It must be fate. Perhaps it is fate. Our paths must have crossed for a reason. For the benefit of that kid. It was a girl. What do you mean, was? Are you still trying to accuse that woman? That's slander. Ugh. Did I actually read what I thought I read back then? Taking the baby to the sandbox, the good people, so that it can be turned into drugs? What? What does that mean? Anyway, Jesus, fuck, fuck, hold on, hold on, oof, this is bad. Oh my god, actually, can I even get out of here? I might have to stab my way through a bunch of infected people. Uh... No, I can push them, okay. Oh man, my immunity's down again. Oh, that sucked. There were so many people in that building. Ooh, we got a bad boy here. There he is. Ah, terrible loot. Ooh, ooh, we got another one here. Oh, they might run away before I get to them. Boop. Good loot. I could actually use that toast right now. My hunger's pretty high. And it's a good excuse to drink the water. 
collect this cashiers along the way? Unhappy note. Who let Riska out of the can? At least put the lid back. Let's leave a piece of chalk. Oh, and let's mark this off too. I've started putting temporary marks to indicate where caches are, but I haven't visited the blue ones. So let's turn that from blue to pink, red. I'll just call it pink. I think we got a bad dude here. Right outside the theater. never really carry those around because they're so huge. But I suppose I have the room now. So, yeah, let's carry it. Maybe it's a good trading item. It better be given the size. I imagine something like that probably isn't something you would sell to a store. I don't think they'd pay for it. It's probably something that would trade well to the kin. I fell in love for the first time when I was six. A kind boy with freckles. And you know, these days I... His name was Matvey. I don't believe you. And I don't like you. Actually, that's too mild a statement. I feel an innate resentment towards you. Ah, oh, it's... Well, <laughs> all right then. Most people love me. I don't like you either, girl of fate. But not just you, I'm not sure I know how to love. Enough! This won't do. It won't do at all. This is a theatre production, not a pity party. You should be ashamed of how you've wasted your time worrying about such nonsense. Go to bed. That's it. Rehearsal over. Where is it at? Oh. Today is the day they don't take dead items. They take money for coupons. The coupons, well, they're called candy wrappers. And at the time, I didn't know whether they were useful, but now I know they are useful. They're used a little bit later to buy food. I'm going to buy all of those. Well... Let's head over there. No quicker route than to just run there. Oh, we got somebody running. From a bad boy. Shit. Mostly broken, it's not going to be worth much. Why don't I have a knife in my hand? I should put it there just for no other reason than to save inventory space. And I'm wondering if I shouldn't even bother using a knife. Like, what if I just exclusively use Men Who's Finger? Or even the Lancet, I don't know. Let's try the Lancet. I'll, uh, sell the knife at some point. Ooh, look at that nasty little blade. Not quite as small as Menhu's finger, but still creepily small. Ooh! Oh, damn! Okay, definitely better than a knife. Killed him in two hits. Okay, do I have Twyran on me? Let's just drink it. Wait, the town? The 
town is calling me there? Have I not already visited that? Yeah, right there. Why is it calling me there again? Does that mean... There's a new message there or something? Huh. I guess just to be careful, I'll put like... I don't know. A blue ring around it to indicate that I should revisit it? Also, the town is calling me... To... Maria... Kaina's place. Hello? Hey there, fellow traveler. You're right on time. On time? Today's a special day. A day backwards. Usually I collect dead things. Today I sell unborn ones. What do you mean? I have these bits of paper, see? Candy wrappers. Absolutely useless. You can't do anything with them. I'm selling them for money. Today only. And they're expensive, too. Hmm. Unborn things, huh? So they're useless now, but that could change. That I will not explain. Perhaps this is my attempt to save you, fellow traveler. Giving away diamonds for the price of sugar. That's exactly what they're doing. Or maybe I'm trying to swindle you as befits a merchant. Or it's all just a prank. Who knows? Not you. It's interesting. If the fellow traveler is death, which they seem to be, why are they trying to help me? So explain like a normal person. The stakes are your fate, fellow traveler. You're sewn to yours with a double seam. Meaning you can do anything. Fate won't let you go astray. Even if you don't yet understand the meaning of your actions. Doing things blindly, yeah, that's my style. Do you take things for money? Oh, they do, and they do have a decent amount of money, too. Uh, the bowl bell says for one, sells for 150. That's not much. Although I do actually need inventory space, and unfortunately they won't buy the knives. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Normal stores probably won't buy the knives either. Probably only, like, Bad Grief maybe would buy a knife. I want to keep the bull bell just because I really want to know if it's a good trading item. I'm going to ditch this knife that's almost broken. And I'm going to buy all of these. That's not going to buy a huge amount of food, but certainly enough to make it worthwhile. I mean, shit, 10 of these for 1250? 1250 is enough to buy what, like half of the price of a single fresh piece of meat? I don't have any valuables to sell them. No. Okay. Let's go see why the town is calling me to Maria Kaina's place. I'm not sure if I ever had this conversation in my last playthrough. Maybe I did. This has all happened before, hasn't it? You reek of meat, man of heavy hands, and of blood, and misfortune. Hmm. I feel like I did have this conversation. I'm a doctor, here to check up on you. You're too late, doctor. Should have come two weeks ago when Uncle Simon was still alive. Now nothing can be fixed. Really? Simon's gone. Uncle Georgie can't protect us. Mother is dead. And father... Ah, father. And me. Who am I? I need to be like mother. Do what she did. No plague would dare touch us while she lived. She was a true mistress. Just don't follow her directly. Who do you think you are talking to me as if we were equals? A doctor. This plague came after me, to challenge me. Am I a mistress yet? But no, I'm not. What do I do? You are a mistress, all right. By blood, if not in spirit. 
I don't want to die. Neither did Simon. He did truly seem like an immortal man. Just about to help out Reuben. Let's visit Bad Grief first, though. Wanna sell some things to them? Wow. Now, now that I've been getting so much money, I can actually pretty much afford a revolver. Still don't think it's worth it, though. Okay, I don't need this many lockpicks. They don't give me much for them, but I don't need this many lockpicks. This is ridiculous. I'll keep the low durability one for stabbing people. But then again, the Lancet kills people in two strikes. Is it worth keeping this for, given how much inventory space it takes up? I don't think so. So let's try to keep one high quality one. This is the highest quality one, so I'll sell the others. And then I guess I'll sell my knife even? Because I feel like I should just use the Lancet and if I use this too much, I could switch over to Menhu's Finger. Yeah. I think that makes sense. I'm afraid of a lot of inventory space. So this is where Ruben continues to not tell me what they've done. What is this spell? I know, I know. There's a swarm of vultures outside, drawing closer, closer. That's all right. What matters is I'm finished. I can rest now. You're talking about death. Like hell, friend. Too early. You need sleep. All I want now is a good night's sleep. A few hours would do. I need to change hideouts. Nothing's keeping me here anymore. Can you distract them? Lead them away? Yes, I can do that. Just need a few minutes to slip away. And then you run away too, or, or give up. They want me, not you. They take you as one of their own. I don't want to hide behind you, but I can barely stay on my feet. That's fine. It's not the first time. All right, be ready to run. It still makes that weird noise when I leave that place. It did that last time, too. Okay, so this quest was super buggy before. So where am I going to run? Uh, I think it, it worked when I ran this way. And it had trouble working when I ran out this way to the tracks. So I'm going to run just like straight that way. So just a little boop. Yes, that worked. Okay, so I think that direction just works more reliably than the other for God knows what reason. Now I want to go home and brew some stuff, but they are chasing me still. Oh God, all of them are chasing me. Hmm. You know what? Let's go to the kid's place, because I want to buy the map for the day anyway. They're not going to be waiting for me outside. Are you going to take today's map of infected districts? Yes. I was going to give him a tincture or something, but actually, I'd rather just give him a spring and a couple of fishing hooks. Where is it? Who's in danger? Uh, so we still have the one infected person, Han. There's nobody there to help. We have the Sabravs, Peter Stamaton. And that's it? Yeah, that's actually not many people to help out. Three? Three people to uh, give immunization 
increases two and then one person to cure. That's pretty easy, actually. I want your two fingernails. Maybe the immunity booster, too. Oh, do, oh, they trade a pretty good amount for the bull bell. I don't know if it's worth it for the inventory size, but I mean, if you have the space, why the heck not? I think I really do want this immunity booster. In fact, I'm just going to take it right now. Day six, in which the answers reveal themselves if the Eurospex is brave enough not to seek them. Brave enough not to seek them? What does that mean? The Uderg's ear is in an abandoned step village, whatever that means. Time to whisper in it. Oh, I can't wait. It's time to go to Shehen. But I have a couple housekeeping things to do first. Uh, I think I want to brew some more tinctures, possibly. I definitely want to eat and sleep. The plague bringer is here, walking around. I don't know. Maybe I could be sort of a daughter to you. Oh, that's new. Didn't you say you didn't? You don't like me? Um. Well. You're not as bad as your daddy. Why are you saying he's bad? And that's what my friend says. She knows everything in the whole world because she can sneak into any tiny little hole. God, everything Murky says about their friend is infinitely creepier now that I know their friend is the sand pest. Who's that friend of yours anyway? Maybe I'll introduce you. She asks about you a lot, but doesn't want to meet you yet. Yeah, you do that. It's interesting. Murky must be a very special person. Because they're not infected, and yet the sand pest is somehow with them, following them around, speaking to them. Yet they're not infected. It's very strange. Right, like we hear the voice of the sand pest when we're infected, but they're not infected and they hear the voice. Let's eat some food. Ah. And maybe a little thing of smoked meat. That won't be a waste, will it? No. Super thirsty, but... Um... Let's go sleep. <laughs> yeah, probably sleep for three hours. Maybe two. What's my best painkiller? Blood. Liver. Oh, those aren't amazing painkillers. But they're alright. Let's do three hours. Yeah, I'm glad I did three hours. Up to max health. Probably need to eat more food. Eh, kinda. I'm just gonna put the smoked meat away. I'll just carry the pemmican with me. And then let me see if I want to do some brewing. Yeah, let's do some brewing. Uh, I did some herb collection outside, by the way, before I came back here. So I have five Ash and Swish, three Swevery. Let's brew those. Alright, yeah, that's fantastic. I have seven Zier pluses and ten Medral pluses. Man, I'm doing so good on tinctures. And I still have a good amount of bottles left. Ooh, let's do some repairing of Men Whose Finger. Actually, I think I just need a grindstone, which I don't have on me. Oh, not Men Whose Finger, sorry. Um, The Lancet, 
rather. I still only have one thimble, so I still don't think it's worth it to repair my stuff. Except that repairing the stuff would stop it from breaking, so it has value in that way. Wow, my stuff is actually, like, just about to break. Let's repair the leather gloves, at least, so they don't break. Oh, the leather gloves don't require a thimble? To repair them further? Oh, well, hell yeah. Alright, time to go to Shehen. So, we're going to be whispering in the ear. There may be blood to get. There probably will be blood for me to get. In anticipation of that, I want to take all of my bottles, just in case I need to fill up bottles and it doesn't give me just one. Yeah, if there's an unlimited amount, or maybe even just a lot for me to gather up, I want all of it. So, I'm going to take all of my bottles. And off I go. Whoa, who are you? Isidore Buras, murderer is caught at last. The real one this time, it seems. Where? At the rod again? Yes. I know all about this one, too. They are not the murderer. Yeah, I'll think about it. Bye. Hmm. Going across the cemetery, Grace is out here in front of this creepy eye. Can I speak with them? No. Poor Grace. Almost there. I wonder if anybody's gonna be here. There's still fires going on. But no people. Let's grab some herbs. There's a patch for each color. Mm, they're not marked on the map, but they're pretty easy to find. They're quite loud. shit ton of herbs. Nine swivery, two ashen swish, eight brown twire, eight blood twire, twelve black twire. Whew. Is it, uh... Oh, no, it's back here. supposed to be... Wait. Why do I use it there and not here? Weird. Anyway, uh, glad I brought bottles. Oh, the music suddenly changed. Living blood. That's the same stuff that allows us to make panacea. That we get from inside of the abattoir. There was no Uderg in the old village, but I found strange blood there. I wonder what happens if I mix it with a tincture. Indeed. Let's see how much blood it's going to let me get. That music is very satisfying. It sounds very triumphant. Oh, desiccated. I can only get two. Damn. Okay. Fair enough. I didn't think they'd let me take unlimited. That'd be kind of absurd. All the way back home. My friend told me she's ready to meet you. That's what she said she did. Great. Is she human, your friend? No. That friend of yours... Is she so sneaky because people are looking for her? I can't tell. Well, 
How does she talk to you, kiddo? Inside. Then how can I meet her? My friends say that if you come to the crow stone at night, she'll show herself. Tell her I'll be there. I think I need to do this to protect Murky. I think that's to take the infection is the only way to get it to leave Murky alone. So we're going at night, right? After dark. Okay. All right, let's start brewing from the living blood. Let's get that going now. And I'm going to use a, a plus tincture so that it takes less time to brew. Yeah, even with that, it's two hours and 40 minutes. This would be four hours. Whew. I'm only going to brew one. I'm only going to brew one because, uh, I mean, I don't need more panacea. Like, I don't need to cure more people right now. I have a schmouter on me. Oh, I thought I had two. I have a schmouter on me, and I'm about to have another. I, I want to keep this in case I can give it to somebody to examine the blood directly. I don't want to use it up. Might be a good idea to keep a bottle. I'm up in this infected zone here, I want to treat people, and I guess while I'm here, since I'll be treating the Soparovs, might as well do the father's not murderer thing. You'll be fine. At a clothes shop, I'm going to buy a safety pin and the toolkit, because that'll be useful for... If nothing else, upgrading the Alembic more if I wanted to. And possibly other things that I can't think of at the moment. Right next to the Sabarov's place, uh, there's somebody writhing on the ground. Let's treat them. Try to get my sand pest fund up. Mm, must be nerves. Yeah, and people in this area didn't like me very much. They still don't care about me, but that improved my reputation quite a bit. Let's see my father's murderer. 